The area in which RadioMaster TX16S fall back behind the comparable Freescale radios are gimbals. Because although the original gimbals on the TX16S, especially the whole effect ones, are not bad, they are not great either. This is the RadioMaster TX16S and this is the standard whole effect gimbal that is inside of the TX16S. Plastic setup, metal stick, two bearings, two whole effect sensors, some springs for the adjusting the tension and the ratchet in case of the gimbal. And here we have the metal lever that provides the centering of the stick when you release it. It might not be the best gimbal ever, but it's good enough. And for majority, and by majority, I do mean like almost everyone, this is the gimbal they do want to use. However, if you ever used a better gimbal or just would like to start using a better gimbal, you had a problem because there was not a better option than this for the RadioMasters TS16S. At least not until recently because RadioMaster have released the new updated gimbals. They are called AG01 and yes, they are better. What change? First, this is almost a full aluminum CNC machined gimbal. Whatever was plastic in the previous generation of the gimbal, now it's all milled aluminum. And you do have to say that, well, yeah, the machining quality on this thing is very good. On top of that, they have updated the bearings, which are right now supposed to be better. They completely changed the way that uh, tensioning lever are working because previously they were metal with the plastic coating on one side. Now they are just a better plastic, more stiffer and more hardened plastic. And you feel that this gimbal behaves completely different in the centering area of its operation mode. Almost everything you want to adjust on the AG01 is adjustable from the outside because there are five holes and five screws available from the top of the gimbal that allows you to adjust the tension on the roll and the pitch, throttle and the yaw. Also allows you to limit the throw of the gimbal left and right, top and bottom, and also adjust the filling in the center because not only you can adjust the total tension of the, of the springs, preload of the springs, but also how the gimbal behaves in the middle and how strong the stop in the middle is. Still, the throttle ratchet and tensioning springs are available only from the outside, but this is not something that you do want to adjust continuously when on the field. And the best part, this is almost a drop-in replacement for the standard gimbals. To replace the gimbals, all you have to do unplug the wire, remove the four screws that are holding each gimbal, and just drop the new gimbals in place, screw them in and connect to the main board. The last thing that you have to do after installing the AG01 gimbals is to do the gimbal calibration. Luckily, I have a separate video on this topic, so just go there, watch in details. The link is in the description. And now it's time for the summary. The AG01 gimbals are a huge step forward in terms of the RadioMaster gimbal quality. It's not really about the aluminium and the fact that they are CNC, but about the fact that they have better bearings and they are adjustable from the outside. And this, believe it or not, really makes a big difference. Bottom line, they just feel better in your fingers. However, will that make you a better pilot? That is a completely different question. And they are not really the perfect gimbals ever, because in my case, the right gimbals, when I move the stick to the left bottom position, in catches on the case of the radio. Yes, I know, I can adjust that by limiting the throw on the pitch axis, but then when I do it, the throw is really like slightly too small for my liking. So, most probably I will just have to learn to live with this. And finally, oh boy, they are priced. 
pricey. Because the price between 140 and 150 bucks for a pair of gimbals for a radio that costs only slightly more than that might sound like an overkill. And with those sticks installed we are going into the price range of the Freesky X20. But in my opinion this is the best upgrade for the Radio Master TX16S ever. Forget the color versions, forget the leather elements, forget the CNC elements that were previously available for the TX16S. Those gimbals are a thing that turn the TX16S into a class higher radio transmitter. And now it's only up to you to decide if you are ready to spend this kind of the money on the new gimbals for your TX16S. This video was created thanks to my Patreon and YouTube subscribers. Supporters. If you are not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!